Hey, what's going on, social media world? Pete Olson, the social media guru, the Montana Silver Stacker, too. You know how it is, stacking that silver high. Hey, I've got a, a social media video um, on, you know, just some of the things that you shouldn't be doing on Twitter. It's been a while since I've done a social media video, so I figured I'd get out something here before this Labor Day weekend. Before I do, I hope everyone has a safe uh, and fun Labor Day weekend, okay? Uh, really enjoy, really enjoy the weekend. Um, here are some tips on what not to do on Twitter, in my opinion. You know, um, I've got 545,000 followers on Twitter, been on it since 2008, uh, do very, very well on the platform, rank the number eight social media expert in the world. And, and, um, um, so I've got some, I've really learned the hard way just by trial and error. So, um, you know, these things I think, I think will help. Um, the, the first thing is, is that what I find what people, a lot of people do wrong is they only promote their company. Um, as in, you know, here's my link, here's my link, here's my link. Don't do that. You really got to offer value to someone if you want them to come back. People get tired of you just jamming links down their throat. So you want to offer good content on your industry. Okay. You can go to alltop.com for that um, and just share an article that, that someone's written. That's really, really good stuff. Um, you could share this content, right? That This video here. Um, but that's really important. Add, add value. Um, you also want to let people, as far as your tweets, let people kind of look in, open up your world a little bit. And uh, so they can see what you do on a daily basis, that you're not hiding behind a computer screen. Okay. Another thing I, you know, for people to tweet about instead of just links is quotes. People love quotes. That's the most retweeted thing there is. So just don't jam links down people's throat, guys. Okay. Um, another uh, bad habit that people have on Twitter is they're all over the place as far as their frequency um, of tweeting. In other words, they'll tweet today and then they won't do anything for four days and they won't do anything for 10 days after that. Guys, it's got to be a mostly an everyday thing. I mean, you got to take some breaks on the weekend and stuff, but at least Monday through Friday, be, cons be I guess the word is, be steady in your time that you can do it. But take, even if it's five, five minutes, 10 minutes, you know, do it, do it daily. And that's, that's really, uh, that's really important. Um, I would say the other thing is, is when you're tweeting, make sure that you're not uh, one of these people that are totally negative all the time. That gets so old. Share good content. Be positive. Um, you can say something. If you're critical of something, you can say it. But say it and let it go. Don't harp on it forever. Um, you know, people just don't like hanging out with people like that. Another, um, uh, another thing that I see that people make mistakes on is, have you ever noticed how people, when they do a tweet... They'll use six hashtags in a row. Don't do that. Don't do that. No more than two hashtags, maybe three in a tweet. That's all you need. There's no more keywords than that in a tweet. And you're just overusing it. And people are just so turned off by that. Okay. Um, another little tip. When you tweet, make sure that you don't start your tweet with at and then someone's Twitter screen name. Okay. Don't do that. Don't do that um, because only they can see it and their followers can see it. No one else can see it. Okay. So you're just limiting your audience. All right. Um, make sure also that um, you only grow your followers organically. Okay. That means there's really only one way to do it unless you're Britney Spears or Justin Bieber and you're a star or what have you or Oprah. Um, you have to follow good people that are in your target market, if you will, and a certain percentage of them will follow you back. And the ones that don't, after a couple of days, and you can unfollow them, and that leaves you room to grow again and follow more quality people. Um, anytime you, you grow your Twitter followers any other way other than that, it's wrong, and, and it's not long-lasting. So don't, don't do that. You know, um, do, Doing stuff plastic just doesn't work, guys. Um, it's just not real, not real followers. Okay. And then I would say the last thing that I've seen even more recently is, is you got to make sure you're attentive to your, to your, uh, account. 
uh, when people are talking to you, make sure you get back to them. That's important, especially if, if you have a business. Um, I guess if you're just on there for shits and giggles, it doesn't matter. But, you know, people, they'll ask questions right there at the at reply. Or you got to check your direct messages, right? Okay, that's important. That's part of being responsible. Um, if you want your brand to get out there and people to notice you, get back to people. Um, it's not hard, guys. Like I said, five, ten minutes a day, real, real easy. If you want to use it effectively, maybe you don't. I, I don't know. That's that's up to you. But I'm just giving you all the stuff that is really important. And um, I hope that helps. I hope that helps. If, if this did help you and you like the video, please thumbs up. Please share it to all your social media um, platforms, if you would. And comment below if you have any other thoughts that you like. Um, that you know that you like to see people do some of the bad habits that people do, so on and so forth. Please comment below and uh, keep everything positive and on on the up and up on the comments. And I appreciate you guys so much. Have a great weekend. Okay, God bless you guys. Talk to you real soon.